It's starters orders qualifying time. It's the hurdle first, and it's two miles three furlongs out this week. And the top one in this 0 to 120 this week is Capable Carlington for Martin Lidham, the Red Baron for Joshua Sutherland, She's Far, Ted for Graham Clutterbuck, McLaren for Paul Rhodes, Clifton Hassel for Ryan Costello, Montparnasse Redwood for Martin Lidham, St Jude for Paul Rhodes, Jenny Jingle for Thomas Rogers, Tessery Flores for Alex Cherry, Woodlass Drummer for James Shea, Max for Alex Cherry, Sayar Shan Value for Ryan Costello, Animator Voice Dan Hughes and Solid Fiction for Thomas Rogers, so 14 then. And away they go. Making their way towards the first flight. An animator voice on the inside, one of the first to show as they get to that first flight, which they're all safely over. Sayashan Value, nearest to us in the green and white, probably just in front now as they get over the second with over on the rail animator voice in between the two capable Cardington and the Red Baron and McLaren and St. Jude. They're pretty tightly packed. At the moment, I think we the first four qualifying for the final. I'm not sure how many qualifiers we've had so far. I would think we've probably had one every week apart from the first week, so this is probably the sixth one. But it's Capable Carlington who's gone on into the lead. Capable Carlington who ran in the chase version of this last season, he's making his seasonal debut today. And he transferred back in in the transfer window along with stable companion Montparnasse Redwood who's towards the back, so Capable Carlington then is in the lead and gets over that one it's four clear, a winner over hurdles and over fences last season we'll be hoping to carry on the good work, leads by four to Sanchez Value in second, St Judy's third, the Red Baron is fourth in Animator Voice and Max after that one as they get over number four jumping all that quickly was Animator Voice that time but there's still a fair old way to go, they could not pass the winning post in now with a complete circuit to go and Capable Carlington is in the lead by four lengths, St Jude is second and St Charles Valley is third, Max is four and the Red Baron is five, then comes She's Far Ten and then comes Solomade Fiction and Animator Voice and then Jenny Jingle with Clifton Hassel and Woodlass Drummer Tessery Flores and finally Montparnasse Redwood the bat marker so the purple jacketed returners are at the front and the back of the field at this stage. With capable Carlington showing the way by a good four or five lengths to Max in second. In three in a line, Sayer Shan Value and St. Jude. With She's Far Ted on this side as well as they get to number five. And over that one. Capable Carlington still the leader with only by two now to Max in second. And Sayashan Value, then comes St. Jude. McLaren moving up nicely around the outside. And they're over number six. And all safely over that one. And the field really is beginning to bunch now. Capable Carlington leads by three quarters of a length to Max in second. Then St. Jude, Sayashan Value. And McLaren. Clifton Hassel trying to get into it as well. Animator Voice trying to get back into it from. After we made that mistake, Woodlass Drummer on the inside, Tessery Flores is making some ground as well, but he's running into a bit of a brick wall. Montparnasse Redwood's also going to need a lot of luck in running, but over the seventh they go and Capable Carlington led over it from Max and Sayashan Value. Sayashan Value now coming around the outside, good jump over that third last. Capable Carlington still in the lead with McLaren and St. Jude are now coming through. Sayashan Value is back in fourth then on the outside. She far Ted is trying to get back into it. Max is still there, so too is Tessery Flores. It's a wide open race this one, but it's still Capable Carlington on the inside in the lead with Max running in behind. McLaren on the outside. Sayashan Value is there. Animated Voice is now switched to the outside. This one will run. Montparnasse Redwood's got a dream run through the inside, but it's Capable Carlington from Animator Voice, McLaren, Tessery Flores, and Montparnasse Redwood as they racing downhill now towards the second last flight. And it's Animator Voice that's gone on as Capable Carlington starts to drop away over the second last they go. And it's Animator Voice in front from McLaren in second. Then Tessery Flores, Capable Carlington, Sayashan Value, and Jenny Jingle running on now as well. Montparnasse Redwood is next, but it's Animator Voice down towards the final flight. From McLaren in second. Animator Voice comes down towards the final flight. Gets over it nicely. A better jump there by McLaren. And McLaren now bursts up the inside. McLaren shoots into the lead. And it's McLaren racing up 
towards the line, the fast finishing ones, Jamie Jingle and St. Jude, but it's McLaren who's going to hold on, I think, as they get up towards the line, McLaren needs that line to come, it's going to come in time, is it? Oh, it's close, Jamie Jingle might have just gone and jingled him out of it. Ooh, this could be another Rhodes jockey sacking. We haven't had one yet this season, but that jockey's taking that remarkably easily. I think he's got away with it. Ooh, only just. Jenny Jingle nearly caught him. Let's take a look. It's McLaren that takes it for Paul Rhodes, and Kay Woods does not get shot in the woods in the morning. Jenny Jingle for Thomas Rogers was second. St. Jude for Paul Rhodes was third. San Chal Valley, Ron Costello was fourth. And Wood Last Drummer for James Shea was fifth. 